Screen shows two computer-animated female figures, a support teacher vision and a classroom teacher. Print title on screen reads, Considerations for adjusting the print environment for students with low vision. Providing access to the print environment is the most important accommodation to learning when supporting a student with low vision in your classroom. Educating a student with low vision may seem challenging at first. No two learners with a vision impairment will see the print world in the same way. But there are many simple ways to support access to print in mainstream classrooms. The support teacher vision is available to help you identify the best ways to adapt print. They provide advice, instructional training and ongoing support for teachers and their students with low vision. It is important to keep a toolbox approach to accessing print. There are lots of different ways we could give students with low vision access to print. Depending on the visual needs of your student, different tasks will be modified in different ways. For example, low vision aids could be used to get good clear information immediately from pictures, print figures and tables, or incidental print. Students could use laptops with magnification software to complete work. iPads with enabled accessibility features could be used to access PDFs, EPUBs, iBooks, or can be used as a basic magnifier and can capture images of print to perform optical character recognition, allowing older students with low vision opportunities to adapt the print environment for themselves. The support teacher vision will help you choose which devices will suit your needs and the needs of your students best. Environmental adjustments can maximise functional vision. Good lighting, classroom organisation and student positioning can all support access to print. Almost all students with low vision will have glasses. Any print modifications made will not work effectively if these glasses are not worn or are in poor condition. During early literacy, simple adjustments such as heavy lined books and dark felt tip pens can support students to see their own handwriting clearly. Larger fonts and adapted pictures can support students while they are beginning to read. Using bigger fonts or large photocopies are not always the solution. Sometimes a smaller font viewed at a closer distance or in conjunction with a low vision aid or an electronic magnification device can be a more accessible option. The State Braille and Large Print Service provides students with low vision access to readers or textbooks in individualised accessible formats. During early childhood, low vision aids are a great way to get students excited about using their functional vision. Magnifiers, CCTVs, monoculars and generic devices with magnification apps teach good visual scanning techniques and encourage language about magnification and vision that will support beginning readers. Accessing digital text and teaching good keyboarding skills are important for young learners. As students grow, they should move away from hard copy large print and begin to access their work digitally. Students may require a laptop to complete some or all of their classwork. BYOD policies allow opportunities for young people with low vision to access digital units in the same way as their peers. All students learn differently and require diversified learning experiences. Generating accessible documents is the best way to ensure learning is accessible to everyone. Avoiding ornate fonts and crowding and using headers, good colour contrasts, and including alternate text for digital images can ensure you are generating print and digital materials that will keep your document on the path to accessibility. When selecting course content, keep in mind that print access will be easier if you have access to the document's digital source. This will support and include learners with sensory impairments, but also support students with learning difficulties physical impairment or learners that have English as a second language. There are many ways to access distance vision tasks such as viewing the interactive whiteboard image. 
Using splitter cables or applications like VNC, Splashtop or TeamViewer can share the IWB image with laptop computers or iPads. Standalone magnification devices like Magnalinks or digital cameras can focus on images in the distance and share them with iPads or laptops. iPads or recommended monoculars can also support accessing print outside the classroom. It is important for students to be flexible learners, to know and feel comfortable using these different types of devices and have more than one or two different lines of defence when accessing the print environment. The support teacher vision can inform you of the methods that will suit your classroom needs best and will help you design an access to print plan that will outline modifications and devices that your student will use to access near and distance vision tasks. To get in contact with your closest support teacher vision or to gain any further information regarding the support needs of students with vision impairment, please speak to your school principal. This presentation was supported by the IOOF Centre for Medical Research in conjunction with the New South Wales Premier's Teacher Scholarships.